Um, you know what? We're going to shift. I didn't ask you this earlier. Uh, how did you actually get into Linux and when did that happen? And where did you start? Yeah, that was in 2016. Mm -hmm. That's when I first heard about Linux. Um, I was just really curious and I tried Ubuntu. Mm -hmm. And after a couple of Windows updates, I broke. And yeah, and like... I was really like I was a noob, so I didn't know what was going on. And mm. just like anyone who is like very who knows very like has very little understanding, I would just blame on whatever like whatever is the result. So I would just mm. blame on Ubuntu and Linux, say that oh it sucks, it's unstable and things like that, even though the Windows update caused it. Um, and but after that, like at some point, I ran into a lot of instability issues with Windows, mm -hmm. and. I got so sick and tired of constantly reinstalling that I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna install Linux and I'm gonna deal with everything it uh, like all its problems. Mm -hmm. Um, to be honest, like I did like in the meantime. Well, not in the meantime, but later on, I a job and I started doing like tech support. Mm -hmm. And when I go back, like in 2016 ish, I I think I think. That the issue wasn't Linux, the issue wasn't Windows, it was actually me. Because I learned, like, after doing a lot of tech support, I learned that most issues come from users. Right. And, right. like, and then I'm, now I'm just like, of course, I, I don't have like a fond memory of uh, what happened exactly, but I, I'm a bit skeptical now. I think that I was probably at fault. Even then, I'm glad of the results. I'm glad that I'm a Linux user now. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, like at some point, like when I tried Ubuntu again, um, I remember uh, calculator, calculator app was taking ten seconds to load, and yeah, and it was not, it wasn't even following the theme, and like I didn't know about snaps back then, but oh, the issue was actually snaps. Right. Yeah, and I heard about Pop, uh, Pop OS, and so I'm like, I just switched to it. I'm like, wow, this this is a lot better, and. Yeah, after that, like I just wanted to learn more and more about uh, Linux, and I started to like try Fedora. And, like I just went to that distro hopping phase. Uh, right, right. I tried Fedora, Manjaro, uh, horrible experience. But uh, um, Arch Linux, then Gen two. I even tried Exurbo a bit. And, like I tried many distributions, and like that's how I gained a lot of my knowledge. It's by reading documentation and things like that. And after that. I tried Nix OS mm -hmm. and I fell in love with it because like I started to understand like immutability and things like that. And that's when I also started using Flatpaks even more. And then I was like, okay, Nix is like Nix OS is a bit complicated to use and like, oh I was like, oh, okay, I wanna try something a bit simpler and that's when I stumbled upon Silver Blue. You went and full so circle. You started at Ubuntu. You went all the way down to Gen 2. Fuck this. <laughs> went straight back up. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, it's like, you know, at first you just want to learn. You just want to customize. And then you're like, <laughs> you know what? I want to have a life. <laughs> That's fair. And... Yeah, I'll get that. <laughs> if people ask me, like, how I have so much time to, like, spend customizing my setup, do all of this. I turn customizing into a job. Like, that's that's the only way you can functionally do it. Don't try to, like, yeah. I, I totally get why uh, someone wants to use Silverblue, someone wants to install Ubuntu, someone wants to use anything, like Pop OS, like, whatever they want to use. I, I get not wanting to waste all your time, like, customizing your setup. All you want to do is, like, hey, I'm going to fire up VS Code or whatever. I'm going to do some coding and then I'm going to watch some Netflix. And that's your day. And that's fine. It, my, the way I use Linux doesn't have to be for everyone. But, you know, I've, I've made it work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and even I went to this, like, very customization phase and all. Um, and, like, obviously, I'm proud. Of, like, I'm really happy that I did go to, through that phase because that's where I learned a lot about mm. Linux. Like, not just the kernel, but the overall desktop. Also started learning uh, a lot of its issues as well, and and I'm really glad. Like, um, yeah, like even though I went back to Silver Blue, at least I kept a lot of the knowledge with me, and I think that's okay. And but yeah, like I'm now I'm just sticking with Silver Blue for now. 